Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. In this video, I am going to tackle one of the most challenging things for me, which is getting through the first day and night in a new Minecraft survival world. This is going to be, um, I'm going to call it Get Through the Night. And this is a survival world. I'm going to leave it on normal. The only thing I might want to change is I like to have coordinates. I don't think I'm going to change anything else. I usually don't. Okay. Um, so let's leave everything else the same. Okay. So we're on a survival world. We are in bedrock and um, we're not setting what biome we're just gonna see what we get so i'm testing out uh something that my son elekman told me which is to focus on wood and cobblestone to get what i need for the first day so if you're anything like me uh here i've spawned on the top of a tree Okay, so that's not necessarily a bad thing because the first thing that we need is wood. I wanna try not to fall down. So one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a whole bunch of wood logs and um, we're not going to make them into planks because we need to have enough logs to burn in a furnace to get through our first night. Ooh, there's a sheep. Okay, I kind of want to go and see if I can get the sheep, even though that is kind of veering from my initial plan. Let's see. If the sheep's still down there, I might go get it so that I can make a bed sooner. But I am not going to run all around. Okay, so I got a little bit of wool. Now I gotta get back up there because I wanna get the rest of my wood. the tree I was chopping down. I want those sticks. Okay, we're just going to focus on logs and cobblestone. And the cobblestone we can get underground. And honestly, I like the fact that this is near the water and near sand, so kind of like on the edge of two biomes. I'm not going to try to move or anything, but our goal is just to have enough to get through the first night, which the main thing is having enough light to get through the first night. So many, many times I have on day one tried to find coal searched and searched and not been able to find any coal and because of that they didn't have any light so then I made a house and I sat in the dark uh, and if I made too much space in the house then mobs spawned in the dark and killed me in my house in the dark uh, or if I only made enough room for myself in the house in the dark then I had to wait, you know, it's 10 minutes of daylight, 10 minutes of dark, and I couldn't even really tell when the next day began. So, um, yeah, that's really frustrating. Okay, so let's get all this stuff. I hope that's enough logs to get through the first night. Um, let's do one more. 
I really don't know how many logs it takes to generate enough light for the night. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make a cobblestone furnace and put logs in it in case we don't find any coal right here. Okay. We'll get this tree and then we're going to start digging our cave house. Some people build an above ground house, but I really think a cave house is more efficient. Okay. So now we gather all the wood stuff here. We don't want to dig in the sand because that might collapse on us, but no. Oh, hi. Okay. I'm doing what I said I wasn't going to do. Okay. No. I don't, I still don't really have enough because you have to have three blocks to make a bed, so. But look, we don't need a bed right now. What we need is a cave house. And there's just, there isn't that much time in the first day, so you kind of got to hustle. thing we gotta do is we gotta make a crafting table. What? Oh, okay. I have to make how many logs? Okay. I only need four logs to make a crafting table. We want that in the house. Okay. Then. Okay, I need some cobblestone next. Hopefully. There's some cobblestone. Oh, I need a door. Um, I don't want to use up too many of my logs. But I do want a door. Okay. So now I'm going to have a door. And then... Now I need some stone. I could make a wood pickaxe. so oh, I don't have enough to make a wood pickaxe even. See that wood's going fast. I still don't have enough to make a wood pickaxe. Wait, oh. Okay, I don't know why I can't. There we go. Okay. Okay, lady, where are you going to put your door? You got to think about this. <laughs> Usually you make your cave house on the side. just throw the door in here and we'll just we're just gonna build over okay now you gotta make your furnace <sighs> where's my furnace oh, I don't have enough yet
falls in here before I have enough to make a furnace. How about now? Okay, now we got a furnace. How many logs? I've got a lot of logs. Yeah, sun's going down, and we've got a furnace, so now we just gotta hope. Okay, first of all, let me make sure I'm enclosed. I seem to be enclosed. Okay, let's make some stone tools if we can. Uh, okay, I need a little bit more cobblestone. Just gonna hope that we have enough wood to get through the night. It's probably night now, that's why there's all that noise. So now if we find coal, we'll make torches. But don't find coal. Be okay. And the reason I say it's night is because you can hear googly's outside. Okay. So basically now we're safe inside and we've got our wood burning furnace. And now we're just gonna mine for coal. We have put all of our wood in the furnace. Oh shoot, uh oh. Okay, this is where things are gonna go very wrong. Oh, ha! Wait, I have charcoal? What can I do with that? Can I use the charcoal as fuel? Holy smokes. Okay, when this fuel runs out, I'm gonna throw the charcoal in there and hope it works. So I didn't get really enough logs. Okay, better find some. I really need some coal now, girl. So, one problem I have now. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of wood. all I got. All I have is sticks, doors, and wood tools. Okay, 
Here's where I die. see to tell how to get out. Shoot. Hmm. I didn't get enough wood. The light colored wood seems to help a little. I didn't get enough logs. It might last ten minutes. I gotta wait till the sun comes up and hope there's not enough room for a googly to get in here with me. So you need way more logs. Did not get even close to enough logs. I came in so confident, but don't know if this is gonna work or not. So my next idea that I'm going to build right under a tree so then I can see through the leaves. Okay, could it be morning yet? All I have is a pickaxe to defend myself. Yay, it's daytime. There's probably a googly down in my little habitat. Anybody on here? Nope. Amazing. So I just learned something. Um, too late. Uh, so I was talking to my son, a luck man, about um, my trouble with having enough logs to get through the night. And he said, why don't you just make charcoal torches? Well, I did not know that that was a thing. So I'm kind of blown away. Um, I mean, I've been playing Minecraft when I'm not working for, gosh, since probably 2019. And, you know, I watch Stampy Longnose and uh, Dan TDM and Luke the Notable and uh, never heard of a charcoal torch. I can't believe that is a thing. So, um, just going to see if I can make a charcoal torch. I can't believe... Okay, now, am I holding coal? No, I'm not holding coal. Can I really make... I can make torches out of charcoal. And they're just like... Uh, they're just like coal torches. I cannot believe that. So that means that you can get through the night just by burning some logs in your furnace, getting charcoal, and then using sticks and charcoal to make 
torches that are exactly the same as coal torches. How did I not know this? I can't believe it. That is something. So even if I hadn't had coal here, it wouldn't have mattered. That is just amazing. So anyway, uh, learned something very important today, uh, which is that you don't need coal to get through the first night, but you do need to know how to make torches out of charcoal. This right here, which apparently combined with sticks, you can use to make torches. That is just amazing. There you go. I could make 12 torches right there. Wow. That's what I wanted to share. Um, so all of that silliness of trying to get through the night burning logs was completely unnecessary. So um, I just wanted to share that little secret. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.